Hello everybody, Guardian Games are here, and with it, the title is up for grabs. You, you see what I did there? <laughs> you see that? Fool this man! No! Let's anyway, see so let's go to Grandma's, pick up her class item, and let's get this show on the road, shall we? The only way to get these medals is by doing activities with your class item on, or by picking up contender and platinum cards from Ava herself. The title Void SMG is back with a few new perks, alongside our first strand scout rifle, the Taraxipos. Gonna be doing a quick rundown on the perks a little later on in the video. But first, a real quick rundown on Guardian Games itself. Here are the Platinum and Contender cards you can pick up from Ava. Each one has random objectives from a slew of different activities that we have available to us right now. You're gonna have two weekly bounties which give you bright dust, and of course the dailies which just give you some XP. The best in class quest is really fast and you get a guaranteed drop of the tracks. Let's go get it done. Now for anyone doing the Platinum Lost Sector cards like the one I just picked up, here's a good idea of the progress you're going to be making as far as the cards go. Jumping into the Perdition Lost Sector in Europa, which today is the legendary Lost Sector, you can see that I only did 43% on the one run that I did. I did die one time so that may be contributing to it, but just keep that in mind, it's going to take about 3 runs, well for the Lost Sector card at least. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this whole event. I'm mainly going to focus on the perks because I think the barrel and ammunition is all kind of personal preference anyway. First up we have Perpetual Motion, Threat Detector, and Pugilist. Me personally, these are the only perks that really stand out. Nothing too crazy, nothing really over the top, just some solid perk choices, you know? And for better or worse, if we see this trend continue in the last perk column. With Swashbuckler, Surrounded, Rangefinder, and Repulsor Brace. Like I said, solid perks, nothing too crazy, nothing that's gonna make you drop everything to grind out Guardian games just for this SMG alone. Me personally, I'm only gonna be looking out for two roles. That is Pugilist with Repulsor Brace or Swashbuckler. Pugilist and Repulsor Brace is really going to help me make some builds to have some fun with all the classes with the Void subclass. Whereas Pugilist and Swashbuckler is going to give me an energy SMG version of the Blood Feud that we got back in Season of Plunder. This will help free up my kinetic slot for any exotic or special kinetic weapon I might want to use without giving up the benefits of Pugilist and Swashbuckler working together. Now for PvP, I only see one combo, that's Rangefinder and Perpetual Motion. If you can make something else work, have at it. And now comes the new kid on the block, the Taraxipos. Now I don't want to juice this thing up, but it's nice, real nice. This thing comes with no distractions, Outlaw, Zen Moment. Fourth time's the charm, threat detector. It doesn't matter if you play PvE or PvP, you can't really go wrong with any of these perks. Zen Moment got a buff not that long ago, which makes it a solid pick for both PvE and PvP. Fourth time's the charm, with threat of isolation on the new strand subclass, where rapid precision hits emit a severing burst on the target. You couple any one of these perks together with what we have in the final column, this thing's kind of a beast. We got perks like Keep Away, Kill Clip, Focused Fury, Hatchling, the new one for the season, and Explosive Payload, and you guys know how I love explosions. Again, any one of these just solid choices. Of the five that I pointed out, I think the weakest one is probably Keep Away. And I'm sure there's an argument to be made for something like Cascade Point or Encore, but I think a good majority of the players are going to go towards these five perks in the final column and even if all you get to do is finish the best in class mission you get from Ava at the tower you're given what has to be somebody's god roll which is this beauty right here man I mean, you get a free god roll who doesn't want that come on sensational the only other role that I feel I need to grind out or would like to just test it out is the fourth time to charm focus fury so I can throw on threat of isolation and see if I can really take advantage of the severing burst from it. Well guys, that's it for me. Kind of a quick one this week. It's really more just a quick rundown and a heads up of what I think everyone should be looking out for. As always, keep a kind heart, a keen mind, and a savage soul. I'll see you guys out there. And may the best class win.
Peace.